Okay, your um, footer for your emails are very important because it's where your unsubscribe link is and it's where you need to be um, compliant to worldwide uh, rules for emails. And so inside of this um, footer, uh, you, this is where you're going to see the unsubscribe link, the, your mailing address, physical mailing address, um, and your company name. Those are, those are the things that are required. You, uh, so this little, this little code right here, that's already here at the bottom of your, of your emails that are already created for you in the app. Um, it will populate itself when this email gets sent out. You won't see it here because it's a code, but when you send it to yourself or send it to other people, when you see the email actually live, um, you will see that this has, this is going to have your unsubscribe link and ad, and physical address and everything that's supposed to be in there. So in the case that you don't see this here, um, the way to get it here is let's just pretend it's not here. Boom. Okay. And you have this little, you know, little box here. Let's just say this box isn't here either. Let's just get rid of that box. Okay, let's just say there's nothing here. You don't have a footer. Let's go to the left and go up to this plus sign all the way up here in the corner uh, where it says add elements. And we're going to just look for a footer and bring in a footer. Okay, so the footer is going to come pre-populated with some information. So the easy, and, and I could show you how to update this, but really the easiest way, and I'm, I'm actually going to show you how to update this, but the easiest way is to just get rid of all of that, boom, and then uh, put in that other little code that already has your information in it, which the way you do it is you go up to the top, look for where it says custom values. It, it, you'll see it when you hover over custom values, and then you're going to, going to go all the way, scroll to the bottom till you see custom values. And then you click on that and then you have some more choices. And then you're going to choose compliant email footer. And that's it. Then it's done. Your footer is there. And you don't have to do anything more. Everything is already in there that's compliant. Okay, so that's what you do now. Um, if uh, you, I think I showed you, you delete everything. If you brought that in and you delete everything, um, then you just put this in. If for some reason, let's just bring that in here again. Let's just bring another footer in here. Okay. If for some reason you want to keep this, okay. If you want to keep this, then you don't need to have See where it says location.email right here? That's that's like the default, what they put in here. You don't actually have to have that email address in there. It doesn't, whether it's in there or not, doesn't matter, it doesn't make it compliant. You can take that out and instead, in its place, you want to put in, you wanna go up to custom values and you want to go to all the way to the bottom again and go to custom values and you want to put in mailing address. Okay. So we're going to put mailing address and that's going to bring in your physical address and that is required. Um, that is required. So that will populate with the, e with your mailing address that's attached to your account. One more thing that you have to do, um, is you need to go and you need to put in your own link, um, for the unsubscribe from this list. When you use that original code, this one right here, it's already in there for you. Okay. So you don't have to do all these things that I'm doing right now. I'm just showing you how to do it. And for some reason you want to do it and you want to keep this. What's nice about this code here is that it's just gonna, it's just one little code. You don't have to change anything ever. It's just make sure it's on the bottom of all your emails. Some people like to make their email bottom of their emails more fancy, maybe put color in here or, or whatever. I don't really think it's necessary, but anyway, let me just show you how to put your own unsubscribe link in here. Okay. 
So this is a little bit tricky. You're going to go take your cursor, go to the next line. Okay, see it right here, blinking. Then you're going to go up here and hover over these little icons until you see trigger links. Okay, I'm going to click on trigger links and I'm going to grab the unsubs unsubscribe trigger link. Okay, not code, but link. Okay, and it's going to give you this little trigger link code. You don't choose code, but it gives you a code, okay? So, um, so you grab that, you grab it, cut it, and that's what you're going to use to um, put, to link to this these words and subscribe from this list. Go to the top to this link text, and right here there's going to be a code in there already, but it's not your specific code. So you're going to delete it, and you're going to put that code that you just grabbed and save it. Okay, if you want, you can you can turn that blue so it looks like a link. And so just highlight it, go up to the big A with the underline, and then just choose blue. Okay, and that's it. So when you when you come across an email that you want a very different footer or, or you see a footer there that you want to keep then you do need to have your custom values email um, mailing address and you do need to update this unsubscribe okay so um, and I'm gonna delete this now because we don't need two footers here I think it's easier just to use this one it's already pre-made for you with all your information and your very specific unsubscribe link